Hi guys, Luca Zelizny here, and I wanted to show you another, a little tutorial. So let's start from the gap analysis and let's go here and best control. Yeah. <clears throat> let's see what is here. We have, oh, let's take this one as the main. Uh, <laughs> this one is maybe not the best, but we can go. Best control London, which would be even better. And we have, let's try from, let's say this one and this one. So we have here a lovely website that will be our first candidate for a keyword research. That is going to be our second candidate and the other who will follow uh, suggestions from Semrush. And we will compare this. We'll take a look. We have a lovely super duper chart which contain over 25,000 keywords. What we're doing next, we will export this and now the beauty starts. The beauty of the keyword research that I wanted to show you this today. So when you see something like that, it means very little to nothing. That's why we add in four colonies on the beginning, match, average, prior, and vector. Match, how many, how many competitors we have? Five, minus, count if, this which contain zero. So we know that for this first keyword, three out of five are ranking. Average position, sum of this divide by the number of competitors that are ranking and average ranking is 15.6 rather than what you would normally have 9.4 taking into the uh, into consideration the one that are not ranking so obviously 15.6 is the correct one and 9.4 wouldn't be correct once again if we would do this average like that and see what's going on. 9.4 nonsense. Priority, search volume, divide by square of the average ranking plus, plus the same thing multiplied by cost per tick. Prior or scoring or whatever you want to call this, and the higher the better. If cost per click is higher, the priority is going up. Lower, the priority is going down. Zero, priority is going down, but will never, uh, will never um, uh, reset to zero. Search volume, the higher, the priority is higher. Average position, closer to top 10, let's say five. Also priority is going higher. And then M vector which is a glued, glued, uh, glued uh, URLs. And now we could say we have super duper nice analysis, but this is just the beginning. Now we will do a sort. So we will do a sort by much, largest to smallest, then immediately by M vector, A to Z or Z to A, and then priority largest to smallest. Okay. And we have, and we know that emergency pest control, London emergency pest control is our super duper uh, killer keyword that if we are entering that market or if we are on this market, but we are not yet um, having anything about emergency pest control, then we should probably have. The next thing, <coughs> G-count. G-count is always one at the beginning. If this is the same as the one above, then G-count is the same. Otherwise, G-count increase plus one. Yeah. And now we will do group, group. 
that is group and what is in gcount. At the end, we will do group size. And this parameter is telling us how many keywords is in a given group. So for example, here is nine, and that's why we have nine. And then we have also group switch which is counting each keyword incrementally to the maximum. So in that case, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So group switch, I will explain you in a second what for all these parameters. And again, on the first one, we always use one. And now we're going what we love the most. That is a pivot table. And I'll take a look on this. I'll make this bigger. And we'll put here keywords. We will put here group. And then we will put on the top match. And then we will put in the values prior. And we will put on the filter group size and group switch. And we will put all the guys who we have thankfully this data from. And we can also put search volume just in case. Just in case priority doesn't resonate with you. So we are sorting this by prior, sorting this by prior inside. And what we're doing next, match. Only show me keywords that at least two, three or more competitors is ranking. The size of the group must be uh, at least three keywords or four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And groups which exclude all these groups which contain, which group is created with like 200 keywords because that means it's a completely random. So we will put here one, two, three, Okay. Once again, sort. And this is it. What you can do now, you can put a bit of design to make this even more sexy. And we will do this like that. We will put these guys into a green color and a bit larger. We will also put a vector on the third level. Now take a look. We're opening this like that. And you can see all the super nice groups that of course best control London, that's keywords that we should definitely start with. Cockroaches UK, uh, Queen Wasps, UK flies that bite, rats in loft, wasp nests, type of flies UK, and so on and so on and so on. Of course, you know, this is not everything. Now you can, for example, go further down the road, which I will show you in a second. And you can choose, for example, UK flies that bite. And we're going to see a wind. And we can go here, UK flies that bite. 
United Kingdom and you can start creating brief for your content writers. You also have a keywords identification here and uh, you can see what SEO win will also on top of that suggest. But what is really cool is that not a single group have more than 20 keywords. And obviously the keywords are very similar to each other. So that means that you can uh, be pretty sure that writing on this will make uh, you secure your really nice rankings. What you can do more on top, you can say like, hey, I'm only interested in keywords that are triggering all five competitors. And you will get here <coughs> a very, very narrow group of keywords, which are super relevant to the, um, to the um, industry. What you can see is an SEO wind, where you can, for example, investigate what are the keywords that other guys uh, are using? Lots of these keywords will be similar to the groups that uh, we we selected here. Uh, so you can mix these keywords with the keywords that SEO we recommended. You can go here and you can ask uh, to generate a nice title tag with GPT-3 usage. You can create also the meta descriptions, the length. You can insect that bite or sting, watch out for these pets, uh, pests, and so on and so on and so on. Um, and obviously, what you can do next, you can go here and you can see what are the H2s and H3s that your competitors are using and you can select nicely uh, the one that resonate with your business you can also select keywords uh, sorry questions to answer from google um, people also ask from quora from reddit and additional keywords which are here also a uh, system will create for you meta description and the last thing to do is to click the share button and you can share this with anyone in your team or external content writers and they can start working on your content. So that was me, Lucas Zelezny, and I will share with you uh, the, the scope, uh, the brief for content. I will also share with you the Excel spreadsheet and yeah, have fun, stay safe. Cheers.